Hey guys, welcome to Krishna's Gallery. My name is Krishna. So today we are doing some science. I am so excited. So let's start. So guys, before we start, I have a chemistry book, and we're gonna see some kind of the experiments they have. And also, we're gonna look at the materials that we need. So the materials they have we need is protective goggles, sodium biocarbonate, citric acid, stirring sticks, universal indicator paper, test tubes and stoppers, test tube stand, scoops, filter paper, liquid colors, candle, tweezers, beaker, gloves, pipettes, funnel, balloons, and plastic dish. So that's all the materials. So you can see over here that there's a periodic table right there, which is very cool. So for safety, for safety reasons, we're gonna go over a safety check. So the first one it says create a clean, uncluttered working area. Put down a tray or paper to protect your work surface. Work near a sink and laundry, a laundry tub. So then, so we we don't literally we don't actually have like a like a wait what a laundry tub. So we're gonna use this table and we're going to put foil on it for to like not to do any stains or any kind of things like that. So the other things we're gonna need to not do is no foods or drinks near the work area. Any food used for the activities must be discarded immediately after use. So next, we always wear gloves and goggles when, hand, when handing, handling chemicals. That reminds me, I need to put on these gloves and goggles. So now I have my gloves on, now to put on my goggles. Time lapse. So I got all the safety things done. So now we're gonna like organize this place. So we're gonna put all these things over here. And we're gonna put this over here. And put all these, ooh, coloring. Over here. Perfect. So now we organize all the stuff. Let's get our first experiment. So now I got the book, and now we're looking what the first experiment is. I'm so excited! So I found our first experiment, which is dissolving. So the steps are... So the steps are uh, half fill the beaker... Wait, no. Half fill, half fill the beaker with water. Add one scoop of citric acid to the beaker and stir with the stirring stick. Observe what happens to the solid citric acid as it mixed with the water. We're about to find that at that out. So let's get started on this experiment. I am super excited and it also says here adult help adult help required. An adult must ex assist while with finding safe household materials to test. So, my sister's behind the camera, so she's gonna help me with this. Let's get the science experiment on! So the first step of this experiment is have filled a beaker with water. So we got our beaker here, and the total of this beaker is 110. So half of that is 55. So we're gonna fill this water with 55 measures. So we we filled it up into 55 measured and now we got the citric acid. My sister opened this up. So we're going to have so in the steps it says we're going to add one scoop of citric acid to the beaker and stir with a stirring stick. Okay, we're going to add one scoop. Oh my gosh. Okay. Add this to here I'm gonna stir with a stirring stick can I cut it 
So as you can see, the the citric acid completely dissolved. So now we're gonna see what else dissolved, including with that science experiment. So you know the the science experiment is dissolving, and as you, and you can also see that the citric acid dissolved in the water. So now we're gonna see what else can dissolve. So we're gonna get some household things. Let's go. So in, when we use citric acid, it, the water actually turned kind of bubbly. So next we're going to use coffee. And we're going to put one scoop of coffee into the water and stir it with a stirring stick. And then we're going to see if it dissolves or not. And we also can see there's like a chart here to see if, like, if it dissolves. It says material. Did it dissolve? Yes or no. And what else did you observe? Water is bubbly. So it's, and let's see if it works. So now we're gonna add one scoop of coffee into here. Scoop, scoop. Actually did dissolve. You can see the color and all of that. And it smells a lot like coffee, okay. So now for the next one. So we're gonna empty this coffee out in that one, and we're gonna we're gonna put this back up to 55, and you're gonna see what the next thing we're gonna use. So the next material we are using is sugar. So we're gonna put 50. We got 55 percent water, and then we got sugar, and we're gonna put one one scoop of sugar inside the water, stir, and see if it dissolves or not. So let's go. Let's get this scooper and get into So guys, I am stirring and it appears to see that the sugar did not dissolve. Wow. So that's a big no for the chart. You guys can see like there's still sugar in there. Like in the middle part. So that's a no for the chart. So let's get to the next material. So guys, I didn't make a mistake on this one, but after a few minutes, the sugar dissolved. So we're gonna have to change sugar to yes again. I have no idea. So Citric acid dissolved, coffee dissolved, sugar dissolved. Let's see if salt dissolved. I can't, I can't wait to see. I think we all know the answer, so let's just do it. Okay, so we got the salt. The safety goggles are falling off. Okay, now we're gonna put, now we're gonna stir it. Then, let's see. It did this. It it dissolved. So that's gonna be a yes. It did dissolve. Okay. So that's it for this video. That's the last experiment. So guys, that was the experiment. I'm gonna clean this up and I'll get back to you in like two minutes. Now can I take this off? So guys, we packed everything up. I actually had really, really fun doing these experiments. So there's like a cute, there's a lot more experiments we can do. I'm super excited to do them all. I think it's gonna get harder along the way. Anyway, please like, share, subscribe. Krishna out.